you know, I'm a tax accountant, I'm a fellow CPA. Why did I get involved with bookkeeping? My personal opinion is bookkeeping is the growth phase. Bookkeepers see franchisee clients more often than a tax accountant. If you do the bookkeeping correct, reconcile it on a monthly and annually, the tax is pretty simple. So bookkeeping to me is the growth phase. That's probably why I got into it. But today we're joined by the divisional franchise law for Jim's Bookkeeping, which is Lloyd Richardson. Now, Lloyd's been a part of the Jim's group for many, many years, and under his leadership, the division has grown to its biggest size ever. So, Lloyd, do you want to maybe start with a bit of a general introduction about yourself and how you got involved with the Jim's family? Perfectly, Joel. No problems at all. Thanks for having a chat today. I haven't been involved with it too long. I'm probably the oldest divisional franchise all in the group, but yeah, I've been around for a long time. That means I know what goes wrong, and sometimes I know what goes right. I was fortunate enough to be involved with the group. I was invited to have a look at the Jim's Bookkeeping franchise. And I said, look, I'm a fellow CPA. I've been in this industry for 40 years. Why would I want to be involved with a franchise? Uh, lucky I did. I was invited. I came over to the head office over there, Joel, and looked at it. And then slowly and surely got involved. And then the family and I bought the whole division probably about five and a half years ago now, Joel. So it might be think I've been around a long time, but full time, it was the best thing. I'd retired in 2015. And um, I was traveling Australia and I said, hey, I've got a bit more energy. I've got a bit more knowledge of what goes wrong. Therefore, we know what goes right. So that's how I really got involved in it. Explain to people who might not know what a divisional franchisor is. Obviously, we know the lingo in gyms, but outside of it, what what, what is a divisional franchisor? What's your yeah, role? Yeah, perfect. Well, the way we talk about that, we talk about our hierarchy system. And of course, there's a head office where you are now and there's gym. There is a gym. A lot of people don't think there is a gym, but there is a gym. And you'll meet him at training and everything like that. Underneath Jim and the head office is what we call a divisional or master franchise of Australia. That's a divisional franchise. Oh. And when things go well, you congratulate. When things go bad, it's your job to make sure it's fixed up. Underneath myself, and we work together as what we call regional franchisors. I sort of say they're like business development managers. And they're located around Australia that support the franchisee. So the four level, head office, divisional, which I am. I'm also a regional in most cases with my other regionals and then there's franchisee. So that's how we work together. We got a real good team along the regionals who helped me out because I live in Perth. I have some great support from Deb in Sydney, Dean and Brad in Victoria and Denise down at Tassie. So great support team. That's how it works, mate. Now let's talk about the regional franchisor. So if somebody becomes a franchisee in Jim's bookkeeping, they have a regional franchisor. That's who they deal with most of the time. Do you want to just talk about yourself from your perspective as a regional franchisor and what's your role in regards to that? What I like to do, everybody that makes an inquiry, I will first phone them and have a chat to them and take them through the process. Because you know, when they phone, they have all these questions. Where do I get leads from? How much am I going to earn? What support am I going to have? Where am I going to go in the future? How can I grow? How do I exit? All those type of questions. So we lead them into what we call our Jim's Bookkeeping Induction Training Program. Now, as a regional, we then hold the person's hand because they've got so many queries and questions from the very first time they start our induction program. Now, it might take six to eight weeks, non-obligation, before you can join Jim. So our job at the start is make sure that you guys are going to be successful. We say in Jim's, no such thing as failure. You must be successful with us. So we're checking out on your capability of winning clients, supporting clients, and we'll train you on all the processes of communication and all that. Once you do join, we then have a training program to set up with you. Now, typically a regional franchise or like myself and the other guys will be contacting you minimum on a daily basis to help you get through setting up your emails, which we do, setting up your websites, setting up your Facebook, your Google ads, training you on the software program, which reminds me we've got a really good thing coming up with some software programs shortly. We then hold your hand about communication. Let's be honest, the services of bookkeeping and accounting and tax, which we have in our portfolio, is not that difficult. We can offshore that or employ people. The most important thing are the soft skills in business. As a regional, we'll teach you how to communicate. We'll teach you how to do an elevator pitch. We'll teach you how to go to meetings. We'll teach you how to go to regional franchise all meeting. Some of our regional will always sometimes go with you for an interview to uh, convert clients, either via Zoom or face-to-face. -face. So as regionals, we are very crucial and we're very important to the franchisees because there's also pay-for-work guaranteed, so they need to be very successful 
you know, some some plan paperwork guarantee in the early days, no problems. And in our group, that's a thousand dollars a week, and there's some criteria behind that, which you'll find out. But a regional franchisor is there to hold your hand. They've got to make sure that you will follow our system, and that's what you're joining Jim's bookkeeping is to follow our system, save your time, energy, and money. We always say that, and the acronym for that is system. If you follow our system and follow our successful franchisees from start to go, you will do well. If you start going outside those parameters, that's when our regional will probably pick, bring you back in. We can't tell you this is how much you charge. We don't tell you which software you use, but we'll recommend you to do these things. So a regional is there to make sure you're successful and support. We also have support with our regionals every Thursday at one o'clock called Ask the Experts Call. It's a Zoom meeting like this Zoom where we all get together and discuss the latest things over the week, or we might have sponsors or promoters talking to us about the latest app. A lot more to talk to you about regionals, but I suppose that's a quick summary there, Joel. Absolutely. Yeah, because when someone inquires, if you are watching this and want to inquire, you will deal with the regional franchise, or it might be Lloyd or one of the other people he's mentioned as well, and that's their job is all those things, what you said. But now I just want to talk about who is Jim's bookkeeping franchise for? Maybe do you want to give examples of people who, you know, who's it for, who's it designed for, and what can they achieve with the franchise? Probably we've got what we call three avatars in our group. Let's talk about the first avatar. And we talk mainly about our bookkeeping. We do have some franchises. We have Jim's Tax, Jim's Payroll, and our new one, Jim's Plan Management. But bookkeeping is our, our basic franchise, which gets you the income going. Our first avatar is what we call bookkeepers who've got some qualifications. And we request some qualifications, a certificate for in bookkeeping and accounting and some experience, but in our organization, you need to become a BAS agent. Now, to do that, you need to become under supervision, and you need to have a minimum with us of a 1,000 hours and then apply to the tax practitioner board. So that's our core element. Bookkeepers out there working you know, for 50 or 60 grand, 60 hours a week, where you can come and work for us, run your business, we'll supervise you with a dedicated BAS agent so you can get your own license under supervision. So that's the avatar number one. Avatar number two, who are currently BAS agents, but the biggest thing we find in this industry is how do I get loans? How do I get support? How do I take a holiday? What happens if I get sick? You know, we've had a lot of, well, probably a handful of franchisees that, over the last two years that their partners had, had passed away, which is awful, drastic. What we've done as a group, we would help that franchisee grab their clients, look after them, support the clients while the franchisee can do what they do. When they're ready to come back, the clients are still there. We haven't stolen. They get passed back to them. So BAS agents that need support in marketing, perfect. And last but not least, a tax agent. Tax agents at Avatar want to be introducing bookkeeping into their services so they can offer more services. You know, I'm a tax accountant. I'm a fellow CPA. Been in the industry for a long, long time. Why did I get involved with bookkeeping? My personal opinion is bookkeeping is the growth base. Bookkeepers see franchisee clients more often than a tax accountant. If you do the bookkeeping correct, reconcile it on a monthly and annually, the tax is pretty simple. So bookkeeping to me is the growth phase. That's probably why I got into it. I was going to say to you as well now, from your perspective and the question they might have is, how does it integrate the gyms group? Because there's 5,000 free franchisees now. Does gyms bookkeeping have first dibs or how does that all integrate? It's a no-brainer when I talk to prospect franchisee because the biggest question in most people's mind is, Leads, give me leads, give me clients. I want clients, I want clients. We explain it in this format. There's 5,000 plus franchisees in the group. Approximately 50 to 100 every three weeks go to training. Now, those 50 to 100 franchisees in the group of lawn mowing, dog wash, cleaning are all new businesses in most cases who don't really know much about bookkeeping. So what we do there, we do a bit of marketing to them, we have trade table, and we offer to the gyms franchisees at training We'll set yourself up for four months, get you organized, do your first pass. At the moment, this is 2023, we're offering free accounting software for the next six months through QuickBooks, Joel. We've done a deal with QuickBooks. I'll talk to you more about that shortly. So new franchisees coming along don't want to pay for software. They just don't want to pay for accounting software. So we fix that by giving them free software for six months. We pay it a small amount to get them organized. So typically, when you go to the three-day group training program and head offers, franchisees on average walk away with 10 leads and convert six or seven clients. So from day one, you've got six or seven clients to start your business up. It's a no-brainer when you understand how it does it. 
We also know that sometimes in the bookkeeping industry, we're a little bit shy, a little bit introverted, which is cool. What we do before you go to training, we do some induction training on how to network. And when you do go, a back to the regionals, Joel, one regional will always be there for at least Tuesday and Wednesday, either myself or Deb or Brad or Denise, to hold your hand and support you and other bookkeepers over the two-day program. So our goal is you should walk away with 10 leads at training. That's how you get leads. Yeah, it's amazing thing. There's also opportunities as well to go on the franchise or meetings as well, which happen regularly throughout the year. And obviously those franchisors always need topics to talk about and money's always of interest to everyone in the in the gyms group with the franchisees. So that's another great opportunity they have to integrate. We also do with that, we had some, what we call some divisional programs already where it's put in their startup package. Yes. Cleaners down in Victoria at a startup package. So when a cleaner franchise commence, they will get a bookkeeping service. I think it's about six months. So the bookkeeper will automatically gets the job. Same with dog wash and there's some other security and people around. So other divisions out there put it in their startup package. So when a franchisee starts, the bookkeeping's already sold to them. So the bookkeeper then gets the client. If it's in your area, off you go. You do the work. Well, can you give me that for Jim's regions? Because we obviously own a few regions. So can you give me that deal and I'll put it into ours as well? So there's some yeah. more that we can put it on as well. Because that's supposed to be, that should have been done. So we'll put that into our one as well um, yeah. for them. But so yeah, it's an absolute no-brainer. And I was going to say as well, with Bookkeeper, I've never asked this question here before. What's an example of a franchisee in terms of just how big their business has become? Like, is there any really, is there like a, I don't know you got a lot of franchisee stories, which are great, but is there one that stands out to you from when they come into where they are now in just terms of where they've grown? I look, I probably there's, there's lots of different levels in, in our group. I always like the startups because they're always the fantastic stories. There's a franchisee out of South Australia, Serena, who, Probably been in about nine months. And when she first started, in her business plan was to buy it. This is all public knowledge. She, she tells us at the at the conference and our, our networking events is that in her business plan was to get a new car within 12 months. I was lucky enough to be in South Australia a couple of weeks ago. We we're talking about October 2023. And she has eight months. And she says, Lloyd, I've all ordered my new vehicle. We'll be here before Christmas. Now, that makes me excited that she has gone and she's not a Baz agent yet she's done still under supervision she's gone from zero clients and we aim for six figures to start off with we were programmed to start from zero to six figures 100 grand that's our job to get you to 100 grand so she'll be pretty close to that it takes about 30 to 40 recurring clients on a monthly basis to get that element so she's got a great story there's another one called Dean who's probably our current franchisee of of the year, um, and we've got a new conference coming in next year. We have one annually. Dean's a great story, coming from a pretty shy type of guy to now he's a regional. He's been in was about five years. He does a lot of bad supervision for us. He employs people, he outsources people. He actually goes every Wednesday at group training and stands at the trade show. Joel, there you probably meet Dee, voluntary to help out the group. He's got a very good story, coming from didn't break even for two years. He was just struggling drastically. We did some one-on-ones with him. We held his hand, made him realize that he's well worth. I think confidence, Joel, in any business is crucial. So our job as regionals, back to regional, is to build confidence and start thinking and speaking from the very start like you're a six-figure business. And it's a very hard issue to start with. But our job is to give you culture. You know, Our vision is to have the happiest bookkeeper. That is straight down the line. What do I have to do? to make you the happiest bookkeeper. And to do that, there's six elements. Caring, giving, and sharing is huge in our group. So they're the first three elements to make you happy. And there's a long story behind that. The next element is financial. You've got to make some money to be happy. You also got to have efficient operations. We have our own software program specifically set up for bookkeepers. What comes in comes out real smooth and, and an issue. You then need to have your personal brand. Sure. We've got the Jim's Bookkeeping brand, which we're all involved with, but you still have to have your personal brand. We train you and teach you in our eight-step process to give you confident culture, online support. We've got some huge things coming up. It's an exciting time to be in our group. Here we are in November 2023. I was going to say as well, the um, 
from an from an outsider looking in, your culture is really really good. You know, we obviously have the 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 supplies on day, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And you always go past, and there's always multiple bookkeepers there, and they're very happy, and they're great with our franchisees. And I always see good feedback as about as well um, from the guys who jump in, and girls who jump on the meetings to talk to franchisees and franchisors. Now, I was going to say as well, for someone who's in employment, like they, there's a lot of skepticism around franchises. Unfortunately, we get tarred with the same brush sometimes. And from that, what what else could you say from your perspective to put their mind at ease, or just some just some more information around you know that employment where they feel as though they're secure, you get the fortnightly pay or whatever you are, to the opportunity or just to that transition to what someone's to being a bookkeeping franchisee. What are some things in place? Maybe what's some extra information they should know? about the transition and just maybe it's not as scary as what it can seem. We talk about fear and in our training program and our Jim's Bookkeeping induction training program, which is a seven-day online trading with intro, Zooms and close Zooms, we talk about fear. And that is, you know, the financial fear of I'm earning fifty, sixty, seventy thousand dollars a year as a bookkeeper with the holidays and all that type of stuff. I've got a mortgage, there's anything else to pay like everybody else uh, in startup uh, processing. Then I'm going to suddenly jump from full-time employment to full-time business. If you've got the cash flow for six months, we recommend you do that or possibly do it. It's 50-50 with our group. 50% of the franchisees stay employed. They can then run this business part-time. As long as they can take a phone call during the day for a lead, you know, like our compliant, within two hours, you must phone that business house. You must phone that long. You can do that. So we have a system that we can set up that, you still work full-time and you do this part-time. Now, most of the franchisee clients don't want to see you during the business day. They're too busy mowing lawns or cleaning pools or cleaning dog dogs. They don't want to talk to the bookkeeper during the day, so they prefer to talk to you after hours. Now, because our business is in the internet, as I said, I'm in Perth, Western Australia, and during COVID, I think we put on about 18 franchisees. I had never met any of them face-to-face until our conference. So we prove that our business goes through any crisis and we could operate anywhere around Australia remotely. As you probably know, I probably spent six months in a year remote running a business. It's very easy to, to do that. So start off part-time. Some of the guys then say, I'm working for an accounting firm or I'm working for a bookkeeping firm. Can I do this? First of all, what's in your HR contract? Are you allowed to do it? If you're not allowed to do it, then I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to breach anybody's rules. It's just not worth it. If you can, there is reasons that we, you know, you need car signage and internet. If you can't do that, nine times out of 10, we can get an exemption for a period of time. That means you still run a gym's bookkeeping business, but you won't be advertised externally or car signage for a period of time. So part-timers, which is about 50-50, we get a lot of those guys. So you can still have your cash flow and income from your business. And then add it on with your gym bookkeeping business and then they drop. There's a great franchisee down at Tasmania who did that at part-time. And when you do our induction training program, you have the opportunity to ask these questions. And Denise attends a lot of that. And she'll just tell you, this is what I did in part-time. Dean was full-time. Serena, who I talked about in South Australia, started part-time. She was a nurse. And now in you know, eight, nine months, she was smashed out. Her lead just about turned off. So no hassle to be working full-time. And cash flow, of course, we had pay for work guarantee too, Joel, as we all know, which is $1,000 a week. So that backs the, the additional cash flow support. Before you do start, we make sure you do a cash flow and reverse engineer it. This is what I need in 12 months' time. How many leads do I get? How many I need to convert? What's my monthly fee? You know your overhead costs are pretty easy. How many leads can I get? How many can convert? So we can show you very comfortably that you can achieve your cash flow goal. Now, if you came to me, Joel, and said, I want to turn over... 500,000 in the first 12 months is ridiculous. Normally, 50 to 100 in the first 12 months is about the goal. Average is about 90. But, you know, I, I can't guarantee that to everybody here because we've all got different. So, part time, no problem at all. Perfect. The bad thing about this as well from hearing is we, we always talk about lifestyle businesses, like gyms, but this truly is something if you want to take the laptop on the road and go travel for the three months or something, you've got your existing client base there, you can actually do it. It's one of the actually very few divisions in gyms. That you can do this with. The good thing too about you, we can have clients all around Australia. Sure, we have advertising restrictions and all that, and we have leads that people don't want to take. <laughs> yeah. So, for example, I spent, well, my daughter got married in France this year, so I spent three months overseas. Sure, that was a bit time delayed area. And then I'd normally go to Broome or south of Broome for 12 weeks of the year too, which I did. 
again, with Starlink and all the internet stuff, it's great that, you know, you've got to be dedicated when you're on the road to make sure you're available and do that. And lucky enough, I have great support. Like Deb from Sydney will go to training again this week or next week for me. So if I can't make it from Perth, we, we sort of back each other up and it's a good feeling to have as a division where our regionals support each other and you may find that when you start listening to us and, and comes back to our vision. What do I have to do to make you the happiest bookkeeper, the happiest accountant? It's not psychology stuff. It says, I need to do this, 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 and this. You know, sure, things are going to be thrown at you sometimes. It's pretty hard, especially the visual. You know, you have issues and all those type of things. But at the end of the day, there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. And it's, it's free and easy to do this. And that's the most important thing that we talk about to be the happiest bookkeeper. The culture is great in the bookkeeping division. You have a great conference every year. And as I said, I just love the lifestyle benefits. I think it's it's such a great division where you can just be free if you want to do the travel, as you said, that you do for yourself. And that if you really after that sort of stuff, it can make good money as well. On the road, I think it's an absolute no-brainer. It's actually one of the tr- only true gyms divisions where I know where you could run that. And as you said, you can take clients from anywhere in Australia. So it's very unique in that aspect of the gyms. And I think if you're after those sorts of things, this is a great option for you. And can you just touch on Serena? You mentioned she was a nurse. Yeah. And so she was a nurse and then wanted to come into this. So how did that all work? Yeah, she was a part-time. She had done all the training and bookkeeping and they had ran a large business and they sold the business. So she was the bookkeeper to that. She had a certificate for, but she didn't have supervision. So they sold their business. So she went and did some nursing on a casual basis and then got involved with us and it's turned around from there. So she's a great franchisee. Now, most importantly, in our disclosure documents, when we give you the non-obligation uh, legal documents, in the disclosure document, there's every franchisee currently and past. So, you know, we, we recommend franchisees contact them and say, hey, what Lloyd's talking about, is it true? And, you know, that's, that's your due diligence you do. And we're also doing the same due diligence, making sure that you pass. You've got to pass our processes to be granted a franchise. And only once you've done that, you're invited to jury. You don't pay the fee up front. You pay it once you've done your due diligence and we've done our due diligence. So it's a no-brainer. Other franchises will say, give me my money up front, then they'll train you. We go, as you know, Joel and the gyms group, we've got to make sure you're going to be successful. Absolutely. I was going to say as well, Lloyd, um, so someone likes the sounds of this, they want to invest to a gym's bookkeeping franchise. What do they get for the investment? You alluded to the stuff earlier, but you maybe just want to package it up yeah. for someone. I think we'll package it up in this formula. The hardest thing in, in any new business, specifically in bookkeeping, is to get leads. It, you know, we, we do Facebook, we do uh, Google AdWords, we do everything meaning you can, but trying to find a client that wants a bookkeeper today is a long funnel because businesses don't like to change. So our avatar client really is a startup. So that's where the gyms group is really good to get us up. I also like to announce we've done a huge media marketing joint venture with a software program called QuickBooks. QuickBooks is an accounting software pro- program. It's an international, it's an 8 billion plus company and it operates here in Australia. So we've done a joint venture with them specifically just for gyms bookkeepers that when a QuickBook license is purchased directly from QuickBooks, they will then get a gyms bookkeeper to help them set up the QuickBooks program and then we'll have an opportunity to work with that client to do their bookkeeping and badge. That's a slow marketing program. We're doing it very slowly in December. So you will see the global international brand of QuickBooks with the national brand of Jim's Bookkeeping together. It's a huge element, not only to push the Jim's group, but also to give us leads. You know, with confidence, I can tell you there's a huge amount of numbers, it's confidential information from QuickBooks how many licenses they issue directly to the clients on a monthly basis, we could not handle them. So we're, we're trading our franchisee. So point number one is leads. Back to the package, sure, when you first contact us, typically myself or a regional will talk to you. You'll be invited to a Zoom meeting. You'll then be invited to do our Jim's Bookkeeping Induction Training Program. We'll then test you on some programs if you need to. And of course, then you'll go get your documents, and then you will attend the three-day training program. Once you've done all that and completed successfully, you start on what we call our New Start Franchise Program. One of my hobbies is internet. One of my hobbies is training programs. I love doing that. So I've got a training program for everything. 
and we have a new start training program. So in that, we actually invite you to click buttons and start everything from scratch. Because simply when you start a business, how do I set an email? What, what, what website do I? What's my stationary pack? What's my uniform? That's all taken care of. So from that day dot, you'll say, which software program do you want to be accredited to? Myob, QuickBooks, or Zero. Typically pick one. You get a free one of them also. You also get five free QuickBooks bundles for yourself for the first 12 months. That's worth 40 bucks a month to you for each one. Then you get support on a, on a daily basis from your regional. We'll teach you how to communicate with franchisees. Our marketing strategy is get some clients from the start when you go training and then work the system. The system is talk to the regionals in your area. There's 500 regionals around Australia plus. So there's also plenty of people you can talk to. Our successful franchisees have regional franchisors and other groups supporting them. The whole package is bundled up for you. You have the opportunity to do Jim's tax, have the opportunity to do Jim's payroll, and they have the opportunity now coming out very short in Jim's plan management. So bookkeeping is the key element for cash flow. The other ones are all bonuses and, and things to come together. Sure, there's different costs to go into the other franchise, but bookkeeping, you know, it's around 25,000. People ask the questions around 25 plus GST at the moment. We've got on our agenda for our divisional meeting next year, the price will increase because of the information and the branding and the clients we're going to get, we assume, from QuickBooks is enormous. So the branding for us nationally is very exciting. So if you want to get involved, get involved as soon as you can to help out. That's amazing what you've done. The, the, the QuickBooks deal is huge and well done to yourself on doing that as a divisional franchise. Oh, that's fantastic. And that would, that's obviously something you've driven for the yeah. benefit of the franchisees. But also from my perspective, I've been in gyms for 12 years and just how you've grown the division in five years, even though it sounds like it's a long time, it's a pretty short time as well to develop it yeah. the way you have. You've done a lot of, lot of, a lot of work on it, and it's really, really a uh, credit to yourself and, and your franchisors and helping you drive that growth. It's a fantastic website. Even you go to the website, jimsbookkeeping.com.au, plus the offering itself. It's an absolute no-brainer. But as I said, your division truly is the lifestyle division where you can do that fully from a laptop, clients from all over Australia. There is no other gyms division that can help, can offer that. The good thing about that, Joel, we're the only division that can help every other division. That's true. Absolutely. Uh, yeah. So we, we work with, you know, we work for most of the divisions around Australia. A lot of regionals we discuss and talk things. But, you know, we do things nice and slowly. We don't grab everything and then, oh, can't support it. So our job is, you know, I've been taught, if you're going to do something, do it right the first time. Don't mess it up. So, we, you know, we, we drip feed into the divisions and the regionals that we support. And then we come back to the next one. And at the moment, Joel, a lot of them are touching us now. You know, they're reaching out, what can we do? Even some of those new franchise divisions coming out, we're sort of putting it out there that, you know, new franchise needs support. Bookkeeping, accounting, your first buzz in most cases for these new franchise owners is a refund. Now, do it right the first time. Let an experienced bookkeeper get it for you and it makes the client happy and it makes the new franchisee happy because we're getting clients and you're learning. I think the point I haven't, haven't brought to you, if you're new at running a business, that doesn't matter what business it is, you need to do it nice and slowly and you need to have someone holding your hand. And sure, you're going to make some mistakes in the early days. Typically in the gyms group, those franchisees' clients won't understand what you're doing. So you can afford to make little mistakes over here on the side and your supervisor will make sure that they're fixed up and so you can really support those clients. Because as you know, correct way of knowing that you're successful in business is your current clients refer you more clients. Once that happens, you'll know. And that's one of the processes we take our current franchisees through. If you've been here for 12 months and you're not getting referrals from your clients, there's an issue. And we go through and audit the issues. You're not communicating correctly with the clients on a regular basis. We all go, also go through another process, Joel, which is very important about hulling clients too. Sometimes those clients won't fit and we might then pass them or split them to another franchise owner. We've done that several times. So you can go, as you said before, turn over two, three, four hundred thousand and build an empire. You can offshore, you can have co um, contractors internal, but most of our contractors are new start franchises. And that's how that works. Depends how big you want to go. 
I'm not going to push you to be an empire. If you want to have a nice, easy life, turn over a hundred plus thousand dollars, have some outsourced people, then you can live quite easily. That's that's the game. And travel the country and join you up in Broome for three months a year. That's a or, it's a or, or go boating, which typically Starlink has been the opening of especially for me. I live in Perth. So Perth's a long way from everywhere. So at my age to keep myself happy, happy, you still have to do other things outside of work. Now if I can semi retire and still work full time and do the activities I love, why would I not leave? You know, you'd stay here for the rest of your life. And, and I've all, always said that. Some of the guys said, Well, Lloyd Winnie and leave. I said, Well, you'll take me out in the coffin because this is probably the best, best. You know, I wish I did this 25 years ago. And that's why I keep saying the franchisees who start up. I was in the same situation you guys. I was a lot older to get involved with a group. I, I've been there and done that with brands and business. You know, it takes a long time to get a brand. You know, we've been going in the gyms group for, I don't know, 30 plus years and still growing the brand. If I started up Lloyd's Bookkeeping, I'd been broke and take you 20 years to get a brand. And that's, why you come with us and, you know, system, save your time, energy and money. And that's, I think we've got a relatively good system and improving. And we've got our own op- operational manual, which I'm now updating. That's my Christmas job, our online operational manual, specifically set up for bookkeepers. No, nothing else out is out there for bookkeepers only. Yeah, pretty exciting time, especially with the QuickBooks program. Yeah, hopefully the branding will go well out there. Sure, there'll be some little issues we need to get through, but you know, international company. We just went to the conference. We were treated like kings. You know, seven or eight franchisees were there up in Sydney. A yeah, good time to be involved with our bookkeeping, like it is always. Come along and have a chat to us. Now, someone wants to learn more, Lloyd, what do they need to do? Of course, one three one five four six. Go to our website, jimsbookkeeping.com.au. Make an inquiry. Push the button. We typically get back to you ASAP between Deb and myself. We have a competition. Deb's three hours in front of me. So we have a competition who gets to talk to the person first. Deb's a regional who supports the division. And then we have a chat to you. Go through all the inquiries, have it send you our information pack. So, and then we sometimes we'll come back with a Zoom meeting. No pressure sale, just if that's what you want to do, ready to go. If not, you're not quite ready, you will be when you're ready. And we that is a process too, Joel. Some people take 12 to 18 months to say yes. That's okay. No stress. Oh, good. But um, Lloyd, thank you very much for your time today. It's a great division. As I said, I've been here for 12 years and culturally, I know which divisions are really good and yours is one of them. Uh, you have a great conference every year and all your franchisees are a reflection on that. And I've never heard one complain about service at all with our franchisees or anything. So it's a credit to yourself and everyone in the division who does a great job. Thanks, mate. Yeah. Thanks, Lloyd. Thanks. See you, mate. Bye. Thank you for listening to the episode of the Gyms Podcast. If you want to learn more about the Gyms Group, head to gyms.net or call us on 131 546 Australia or 0800 454 654 New Zealand. And if you did like the episode as well, please make sure you leave a review or a comment or a thumbs up or a comment on the video as well. We appreciate your support. And until next episode, we hope you have a great week.